that they want, but Lauren been the same one. I came up in them gogos, most of them was afraid of. Now, smoke, say that. Now, smoke, say that. But when your will is a fortune, you never gotta say that. Don't be talking too much. These copy too much. These cardio crazy. Chasing clock must be tough. And I wrote me a dozen. Got me I raise my hand and raise your family. She's up from I'm playing. These don't be no gangsters, they be paying. Yeah. Ain't dead, it just moved to the county. Put them out there, S class. I guess you don't see the problem. I know every who and who and every who the I'm around them. What you call a piece of mine? I call a picture for a b. Hold up, yeah. I'm in my luggage, in my luggage. Hold up, boy. I'm on the runway like I'm Ducky. Hold up, prolific. Really be living my lyrics. So tell me who did it this big and who ain't about to slow up. My boy, 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 my boy. Who gon' bring my crown? Who gon' try to? Can't get enough of me. I don't play around. We got that type of luxury. Going down. It ain't no catching up to me. Yeah, stepped in the building with my vibe on a million. Slide on the beat like my God, I'm so brilliant. All of the rappers put your pride to the side. Try collide with the squad. Turn your mob into corn on the cop. Who's a fraud? About set for baseball now on the show as we welcome you to Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Today we've got a contest out of the American League East between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Luis Severino, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What's your take on him, Dan? Luis Severino's really turned himself into an all-around pitcher. Came out of the bullpen early in his career for the Yankees. Big fastball, 96 to 100 miles an hour. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better. And one of the things he does better than anybody in the league right now, maintains his velocity. He'll be 96-97 in the first, 96-97 in the seventh or eighth. Power arm, one of the best all-around arms in the game. Pulled toward right center field. Heading after it is Judge. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first that out of the inning. The and right now field. here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. That. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. He won the Hank Aaron Award in the American League. That is the best offensive player, and boy, did he put together a season. Power and average, he showed us everything last year. Here's Mookie Betts, the reigning batting champion in the American League. Now the pitch. Swing and a blooper to the right side. In comes Judge. He's there, but he drops it. A nice job by the batter right there, able to fight off that a high third. fastball and slap it the other way for a single. JD Martinez. Here's JD Martinez. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. And at first for him, following the one out single. Oh, a double play ball to second. Four, six, three. It's a double play, and the inning is over. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Sox zero, Yankees coming up. You're watching MLB Network. Chris Sale, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Thanks, Matt. Chris Sale, you're talking about one of the premier pitchers in the game of baseball. Big fastball, 95 to 98 miles an hour. Wipeout slider, great comparison. He's the closest thing we've seen to Randy Johnson. A nightmare against lefties. Three-pitch guy, fastball, slider, and a changeup that's getting better all the time. He is a definition of a true ace. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. 
Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Two balls and two strikes to Hicks now. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Now a fastball. Oh, look below the knees, but he rings him up anyway, and there's one gone. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, we all know it. The man to watch, Giancarlo Stanton. He's truly one of the great power hitters in the game. I love watching him, and he's got elite power. That, that's the kind of power that he can hit it over the light towers, and he can hit home runs that will show up on show track and, and everything else. So anytime he steps into the box, he's exciting to watch. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. Outside, outside two and one. Two right. one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. two and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. First offering on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Lifetime against Chris Sale. He's gone two for six. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees' DH. Two out, nobody on. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts, not too shabby. We're off to the second scoreless on MLB Network. At the plate, Xander Bogarts. Got to get us started in the top of the second. Xander Bogarts. First pitch coming, here it is. Fouled off. Now the 0 1. Well, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0 and 2. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there. And that's one of those off balance swings. As a pitcher, you want to look in and say, Howdy, if you're waving at me. A real ugly swing, and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad. So hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there. All right, here's how the Bronx the Bombers pitch. are going to set up defensively yeah. today. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitching staff to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. The windup and the 0-1. Ground ball right into the ship. Torres picks it up, and there's out number two. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Previous history with Luis Severino. He's gone three for 11. He's taken him deep once. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded to short. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So striding in Gary Sanchez. For the Yankees. Gary Sanchez. 
ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. And this is high, a ball and a strike. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And let me tell you about Mitch Moreland. We get it, big, nasty, left-handed swing in first baseman. But if you were to rate the top defenders at that position, you wouldn't necessarily think of Mitch's name at the top. But I'm telling you what, he's exactly that. His buddies love the way he picks them out of the dirt. 3 and 0 now. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. He loses him on ball four. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do. The last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. Strike one to start the at bat. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Torres becomes out number two this inning. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. Standing in now, Luke Voigt. One ball, no strikes to count. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. And it's fouled away. And Duhar leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Now Voigt with a high fly ball out to deep left field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. It's a two-run shot to straight away left, and this is now a two-to-nothing lead for the Yankees. Yep, this is why you just can't rely on one pitch. These are the best hitters in the world, and when they know what's coming, they're going to jump all over it, just like he did there. Here's Troy Trulowitzki now. To go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Previous history with Luis Severino. Not a lot of success. 0 for 12. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Swing and a little blooper to center. In there, the base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Batting it. The catcher, number three, Sandy Leon. Now at the plate, Sandy Leon, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. As a look, now the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. This one's flared out toward left. Here comes Gardner, but he won't get there. It falls in. 
batting up the center fielder. Jackie Here's Jackie Bradley. Bradley now, and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Two Lewitsky for one. To Voight in time for the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Pops this one up. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2 1 now. Well, that's a big pick me up right there. After the ground ball double play, that runner at third could have been stranded. Big, and I mean big, two out base hit. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Picking up your teammates right there. You know, after grounding into a double play, you watch your teammate go back to the dugout, dejected, costing his team two outs and you find a way to bail him out. Nice piece of it. Into the box, Mookie Betts. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Trying to keep things going now with the runner at first following the RBI single. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Line to the right side. Judge is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So one run here on three hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Yankees lead it two to one. Here's Brett Gardner now as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First delivery to him on the way. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Three and two, full count. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. As if things aren't tough enough here playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter. And, oh, yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this outing. Aaron Hicks stands in as he looks at ball one here. Count now a ball and a strike. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes. To two balls and two strikes now. Gardner on at first, nobody out. And they just can't touch him right now as this is swung on and missed. Seven punch outs now, and there's one away. So stepping in, Aaron Judge. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And here's a fastball called for strike one. That was a classic two hole hitter move right there, giving his boy a chance to steal a bag. Gotta be honest, in today's game, you don't see too many guys take that pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. It might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Giancarlo Stanton now. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Late swing there at the breaking ball. Must have been looking for something else. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here. And the side is retired. One left for the Yankees. They lead it two to one.
leading off the inning, J.D. Martinez. And they'll need him to get something going here. J.D. Martinez. First offering on its way. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. You know, we saw these guys around the cage during batting practice, and they told us they were going to be aggressive. I think this is getting a little ridiculous. They better watch themselves if they don't start putting balls in gaps. This guy oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. Boy, d roll that looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing caroms off the wall. Outfielder does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding it to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you run the replay back. He was busting it out of the box. It's just a nice job by the defense to hold him to a single. Takes this the other way to right, and that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Gartner a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. The batter number 50, second baseman, Dustin yeah. Striding in for Boston, Dustin Pedroia, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch of the at bat. This one's blooped out to right center field. In comes Judge. He can't get to it. This one's down. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one now away. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a jam sandwich, but able to mix in a knock. Stepping in now, Rafael Devers. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. One run scores. The relay. And now they'll at least get an out at third here as he's tagged out. But two runs are already in to score. Stepping up now, Sandy Leon. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. This is in the air out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So two runs on four base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Red Sox lead it three to two. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Steve Pierce will come on defensively now as he takes over at second. Leading off the inning, Gary Sanchez as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Infield in the over shift here. Now the pitch. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Sanchez is a prolific power hitter and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces. There's a lot of pop in that bat. 
And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, now he can rack up quite a few more favorite. before he's done. He Still a lot of game left in this one. Digging in for his second at bat, Miguel Andujar. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking his zone right here. He has a chance for a quick inning. He is not nibbling. Everything is catching those 17 inches. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled away. The next 0 2. And he fouls this one off. We're in the fourth. 3 to 2 is our score. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it. But I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Check swing grounder to the right side. Throw in time and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one two three. They're down three to two. Digging in. Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Jackie Bradley Jr. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is in the air out to right field. Judge is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Right field. Stepping into the box, he bets. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And the pitch. He had high and deep out there to left center field. Gardner going back. And this one bounds around against the wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. In now J.D. Martinez no balls and a strike to count a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game looking to keep this a one run game the pitch swing and a miss and he needs a little discipline here 0 and 2 the lineup top to bottom looks like they have no approach or game plan whatsoever it's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Leading off the inning, Luke Boyd. And they'll need him to get something going here. Here comes the first pitch. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1 0. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Benintendi is there and he makes the catch for the out. There's our line score through the first four and a half, and these guys have basically had the bats taken right out of their hands. Just one hit to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1 0. 
can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. Lifted in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Here it comes. Hey. Strike taken up in the zone. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. And that'll get down for a two-out single. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. Uh, hey, D-Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two-out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two-out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Here's the 1 That's a strike to throw down. And it's far too late as he steals second with Eve. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Bradley is there. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. The Yanks leave one. They trail three to two. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He'll lead it off for the Red Sox the here in their half of the six. The shortstop, Xander Bogarts. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now, the fastball is swung on and missed. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. Case in point right there, Matty. We're seeing a trend, the north and south. A lot of pitchers working that elevated fastball and then breaking stuff off in the dirt. We used to see east-west, not the case anymore. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Stepping in, Mitch Moreland. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. First offering on its way. On the ground a second for Torres. Fielded cleanly. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. So coming to the plate, Steve Pierce is getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Torres is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Fair to say. Oh my goodness. Here's big Aaron Judge. He'll start things out of the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah only two hits so far Matt and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch on its way. A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one one and oh now the one and one pitch this is hit high in the air out toward left center Bradley is there one away. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. He'll be kicking himself tonight if he doesn't come up with a big high and deep to right center. Back goes Betts. Go! It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. And with it, the Yankees have tied this one at three. I 
can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. Into the box now. Gary Sanchez. No balls in one strike. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. Here comes the 1 2 from Sale. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Fouled off. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. We know he's probably still thinking about that game time home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it bothered him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He went down on strikes last time up. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. Sort of surprising to see a five hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. Ready with the 0 2. And it's fouled away. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Bogarts has a play, and that retires the side. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. Bottom third of the order, 7-8-9, due up to start the seventh, and we are all tied at three apiece. Back here in the Bronx, tight one on our hands, all tied at three You're apiece as we look at the game summary now, through six innings of play. Tommy, Tommy Kingley is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. So digging in now, Rafael Devers awesome. awesome. in his career against the this 13. pitcher, he's a 333 hitter. Yep. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line towards center field. And another base hit for him. Now three for three in this one. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Well, these days don't happen often. You better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way go. It's hard to have three hits in one day, but boy, this guy is off to a great start in this. Into the box, Sandy Leon pulled toward right center field. After it is Hicks. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting, the center fielder. Jackie One man Bradley is out of the Red Sox seventh. And into hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. First delivery to him on the way. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. And Hicks will settle under this one for the second out. The relay. On to first, and they get the double play. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx, and we are all tied at three apiece. Now to the plate, Torres. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. The second inning. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball well off the plate for a ball. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled away. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. 
Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. He's up to 100 pitches now, but he's still bringing the fastball pretty good. Nothing about that last throw tells me he's wearing down right now. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. and one. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets in any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys, but guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. Here comes another 0-2. Again, he sends it out of play. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. The 0-2 once more. Fouled off. The next 0-2. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Under it is Bradley, and that'll be the second out. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Jack swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One left for the Yankees. No change in the score, it's 3-3. Three